Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Van Life and in this episode uh, we are going to be taking you through the uh, build of this battery. Uh, so we bought this case um, to put 16 cells into. So uh, if you come closer and just show the viewers what's inside, it's a, <clears throat> it's a, a blank open case and we will be putting in uh, one row of 8 cells and another row of 8 cells to take up to 16 cells. It's uh, got a nice fancy switch that gets bolted into there. Uh, it's got a daily, it'll have a daily 200 amp BMS that bolts in here with uh, purpose-made bolts to, to attach it to. Then it'll have um, <clears throat> these uh, bus bars for uh, your po positive and your negative power that get uh, onto these two here. Uh, it's got a few other attachments like these side ones if we want to. Uh, we can attach them there so that it can be placed in as a, pretty much as a rack mounted uh, battery. Now <clears throat> the, um, the, this will be used in a yacht or a boat of some sort. I can't remember exactly what the boat is. I think, uh, I think the person is throwing his diesel engine out of the boat and replacing it with a 10 and a half kilowatt um, electric motor. So this is what will drive the motor. So quite pleased to do this build. It's going to be quite a lot of fun and uh, <coughs> uh, this, this case is really great. I mean the case itself is quite heavy but it's going to be nice uh, building this out and uh, the one thing I'm curious about which we'll be asking the guys how important it is to actually make this completely uh, sealed so pretty much airtight to stop moisture coming in. The cells we were placing here are so here are the first eight cells that we've just put into this uh, rack where we're going to be um, placing, we're going to be using these um, plastic uh, protected dividers, whatever you want to call them. So they'll slip in between each case and the whole idea is that they prevent uh, any form of, you know, when there's a bit of rub and what have you that the, the plastic coating on these or the plastic cover on these doesn't wear out and we get some form of shorting. So we'll have these between all of the cells. So we're going to place them between all of the cells now. We're going to uh, compress, just lightly compress this whole thing and then we're going to uh, tape it up with uh, fiber tape. There's probably several reels of fiber tape are going to go into this to keep the cells nicely together. And then <coughs> we will, this will weigh a, a roughly um, 40, 40 or so kilograms, uh, so reasonably heavy. So this we will lift up once they're totally charged and top balanced. We'll lift the first lot up together, two of us, and drop them into there and then pad the ends to stop them moving about and pad the, the other end. Probably use this padding that has come with it. It'll come over here and another one over there. And then we've got uh, these these will be used to tighten the cells into place or to, to uh, restrain them into their place here. And the other two will go on top here uh, where there's loads of space to uh, run little cable ties to tidy up all the, the balance leads. So let's get on with it. Here we have the 16 cells uh, charged, completely top balanced, um, put into the enclosure. Um, as you can see here, they've been bound with uh, fiber tape. So there are three layers of fiber tape. So they taped right uh, close to the top. So quite thoroughly taped up. Um, at the end, there's a three and a half millimeter ply you can see it here more clearly. So a three and a half millimeter ply and it fits quite snug in this case <clears throat> on both sides as you can see it fits really snug and uh, we have some ply at the back and the ply at the back was mainly to stop the edge of the cells pressing against the little tack wells um, just in case it dug in and did some damage so that keeps the cells away from that. 
So, and then obviously these bars on the top, they're quite handy because they've got these places where you can tie the cables on and tie the balance leads, etc. They have space uh, on the top of each cell for the, uh, the vent. So quite pleased with that. The BMS has been uh, bolted in. So uh, the case didn't come with these little, I think these are M3 nuts, didn't come with them. <clears throat> so we got some extra. Uh, so this is nice and firm when I wiggle it around. Uh, we're gonna be looking at how to get this. This uh, this will become the main minus over here. So the chances are we're probably gonna chop this off. I don't like the fact that this is an eight mil but going into a six mil, you can see there's a lot of room. So I want to actually chop this off and replace it with a six millimeter lug. And there's just enough cable to do it comfortably. I think it'll be okay like that. Um, the balance leads we're gonna bring over here and probably tie up, I'll use uh, some conduit to tie them against here and get something to wrap them here as well, just to keep them safe. And then from here, we'll distribute uh, the balance leads throughout the whole the whole top here. Obviously gonna need to make a, a big flexible bus bar to go from here to here, and then smaller bus bars everywhere else. So let's get to it. So we have all the balance leads prepared, uh, not actually plugged them in yet, but got these nicely bound and then secured. And uh, <clears throat> in several instances we've needed to extend them. Uh, I'm going to talk about this whole theory that you can't have different length balance leads. <clears throat> there is a theory or a, a rumor out there that um, the long cables take longer for the signal to reach the BMS and that affects things. Um, I think that's uh, <clears throat> just a rumor, just a, a wild theory. Uh, the the comms that we've had with Dally and, and all the reading up that we've done, these guys keep things really, really simple. And uh, all that they do is they have the, the negative coming on here and then each cell has its own positive. And they measure the voltage from the positive to the negative, uh, subtract uh, everything else, and that's how they know the voltage of the actual cell. And they keep it really, really simple. And the, the slight change or difference in the length of these cables is not going to uh, do anything. So <clears throat> for that theory that it uh, changes the time that it takes the signal to come down the wire, these cells are always putting out some voltage. They don't know when to start and stop. There's no fancy electronics to say, well, the cell has started sending the voltage down the wire, so let's time how long it takes, you know, uh, absolute fractions of milliseconds to, to uh, travel down the wire. And uh, they're not going to do those sort of calculations. They keep it really simple. They just measure voltage, and the cells are always putting out the voltage anyway. They always have current coming down the wire. So that's it. Uh, ready to plug it in and test it. Uh, so I'm going to test the BMS and then turn it off uh, before we connect the main negative. Well, we need to connect the main negative now and then we'll uh, fire it up and test it and see how it looks. I now need to change this um, negative terminal because I'm, I'm not really happy with the fact that it's an 8mm. We've done it in the past, connect 8mm onto 6 but uh, I want to get as much surface area as I can on this. So I'm going to cut this back and actually remove this blue insulation and see uh, how close we can get to this to cut this here. Let's 
just nip all of these up. Right, we have completed the construction, so we go from the main positive terminal, as you can see we've used a bit of overkill 50 millimeter square cabling that's uh, in that protective sheath going all the way around and coming into the main switch, so here's the main switch over there and then again 50 millimeter coming out to the uh, terminal, into the terminal there. So there will be your positive terminals on the outside of the box. Uh, negative power, there you go. And the, we have the BMS down there, so the BMS comes to the main negative terminal, to the BMS and then out, and again into this uh, switch on this side, and out of the switch and along to this terminal. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we've torqued all of these down and double and triple checked that everything is torqued down. Uh, cable tied uh, where we can to just keep things from being loose. And as you can see, we've um, protected the, the balance lead. So here's a balance lead. It's got a, a bit of a sheath there to protect it from because we've cable tied it to the metal chassis and uh, everywhere we've uh, put some protection on them so that they shouldn't uh, ever have a problem wearing through. Just try to keep things neat. The, the, the main loom of balance leads goes into uh, the BMS there and we've uh, sort of protected it with one of these. We drilled a small uh, 12 millimeter hole uh, to uh, pass the, uh, the Bluetooth dongle cable through and that comes through with a nice grommet, so it's looking really neat. And there's the Bluetooth. So, all in all, really well pleased. Uh, nicely constructed, I think. Uh, measured at 57.5 volts resting voltage. So, this should be pretty good to go. We're going to put the cover on now, uh, put some labels on, and it will be good to go. About 110 kgs of weight. So, uh, going to be a bit of a beast to pick up and put into the vehicle. So folks, that's the uh, build of this battery complete. Let me just take this cover off and uh, show you inside very briefly. So it's gone pretty well, this build. Um, these are th 304 amp hour cells. There are 16 of them. So this is a bit of a beast, 48 volt, but actually in reality, they're like 57 and a half volts. And um, they, it's a case specially designed for these cells, so the, the case is the exact length uh, to fit the cells in with 3.5mm ply on either end, so it can, the cells can expand and be constrained by this. Um, we've used 50mm uh, cable, so gone a bit overboard, but we don't want any voltage drop if they're going to do very high current draw here. 200-amp uh, BMS, 16S uh, BMS, and uh, it's got all the terminals built in, and that's uh, really neat. So, well pleased with it and uh, hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next episode. Cheers.